Hi guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge. You know, I love getting in the kitchen and making fun foods for my kids for the holidays. So today I'm gonna to share with you three super cute and easy Easter inspired breakfasts that my kids love and I hope yours will too. So stay tuned. Okay friends, so all of the ideas I'm going to share today are on the healthier side, which is great. And all of these recipes come together so quickly, which is perfect, especially if you're like me and you're short on time in the morning, but you still wanna make something special for the kids. And without further ado, let's jump right in. First up, we're making some fruity Easter pancakes. This is a great breakfast for the kids to actually help you make. It is so easy and fun. I'm going to start by preparing my fruit and you can use any kind that you prefer. Today I'm using some tangerines, a banana, some blueberries, and strawberries. Next, I'm going to prepare my pancake mix. I'm using the Kodiak Cake Pancake Mix. There's extra protein in there and some whole grains. I also like to add some eggs, milk, vanilla, and cinnamon. I'm going to cook my pancakes in a little bit of coconut oil. I really think it adds a yummy flavor and a crispiness to the pancakes. And I'm going to try to make these an egg shape, like an Easter egg. Now once our egg-shaped pancakes have cooled down a bit, I'm going to add a little bit of this jam. This is a blackberry, blueberry, pomegranate, acai jam. And this is gonna act as the glue for our decorations. So Lily and I are going to add some fruit all over our pancakes in a fun Easter egg pattern. So we're starting with some strawberries, then we're gonna add some whipped cream, followed by the rest of our fruit. This was so fun, both Lily and I had a great time decorating our pancakes. So here is the final product. I think it looks just like a really fun Easter egg. To go along with this, I'm also giving the kids some milk with a really cute silly straw a little piece of bacon, and some strawberry yogurt. Yum. I think they're going to love it. Next up, we're making some egg muffin bunnies. Now, I'm a big fan of making egg muffin cups. You can really make a big batch and keep some in the fridge, and you can customize them however you like. The trick here is to use a silicone baking mat, and of course, mine's a cute bunny shape. I got this at Walmart, and it was just a few dollars. For these muffin cups, I'm using some ham and cheese. So I'm going to start by cubing up a ham steak. I really like the fully cooked ham in this. It saves a lot of time. To my medium sized bowl, I'm going to add about eight eggs, some salt and pepper to taste, about a quarter cup of milk, some shredded cheddar cheese, some sliced green onion, and my cubed up ham. And then I'm going to whisk it all up. Next, I'm going to very carefully get my egg mixture into my silicone pan. Now here's where I made a huge mistake, you guys. Normally when I'm filling my pan, I put it on a cookie sheet first and I totally forgot to do that. So I ended up having to transfer it already filled onto my pan and it spilled quite a bit. So don't make that mistake, don't be like me. So I was able to take a paper towel and clean it up. And then I cook these for about 12 minutes at 350 degrees. Now this next part is pretty cool. When you take these out of the oven, they're gonna be big and puffy, but as they cool down, they're going to shrink. To go along with today's breakfast, I'm also serving some blueberry juice. This is a blueberry probiotic drink. The kids really like it and it's thick like a smoothie. I'm also giving them a little bunny toast, some little blueberries on a cute pick, and some ketchup because they love to dip their eggs in ketchup. And finally, we're making some Easter Bunny oatmeal. It is super cute. Let me show you how I made it. Of course, I started by cooking up some oatmeal. Today, I'm using the gluten-free rolled oats from Trader Joe's, and I like to add a dash of salt. So I'm just gonna cook these until they are done, and then I'll show you what's next. When the oatmeal is done cooking, I'm going to add a spoonful of honey. This honey actually came from my husband's own honeybees. We love this honey. 
and then I'm also going to put a scoop of chunky peanut butter. I know that might sound weird, but that's my kid's favorite way of eating oatmeal. So while the oatmeal is still warm, I'm going to mix this in and it's going to melt and be delicious. And now it's time to turn this oatmeal into a cute bunny face. I'm gonna use two little pieces of banana for the ears. I'm just gonna stick them right into the oatmeal. And then for our bunny's eyes, I'm going to use two smaller slices of banana and I'm going to layer a blueberry on top of each of the slices. So he has cute little eyes. For our bunny's nose, I'm just gonna use a little triangle piece of strawberry. For his whiskers, I'm going to use a little rectangle pieces of banana. And for his mouth, I'm going to use a few raisins. And there you have it, a cute little Easter bunny oatmeal. Now to go along with this today, I'm also giving the kids some pineapple in the shape of a flower, which I've added a little blueberry on top to make it look really cute. I have some turkey sausage on a cute little pick and some milk with a silly straw. I know they're gonna love that. I hope you found this video helpful today. If you liked it, could you please give it a big thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Easter, and I will see you next time.